Hi, I'm Badger, and I'm the designer for Dice of Pirates as well as Dice of Crowns, and I'll be doing a quick run through on how to play the game. So, you roll the dice, you're a fearsome pirate captain in search of gold. Uh, so when you roll the dice, if you get three gold, you can plunder a gold coin from a passing ship. The seas are dangerous, of course, and krakens will sink your ship immediately. So three krakens will instantly end your turn. You cannot collect gold. Sometimes there are pirates out there that have more gold than you do, so three or more pirate flags can allow you to attack another player and steal their gold. This is one of the key differences between Dice of Pirates and Dice of Crowns. So the number of pirate flags you take into combat is how many dice you're fighting with and how many dice you could potentially win gold with or lose gold with because piracy is high risk, high reward. Sometimes the winds blow very strongly all throughout their area and on your turn if you roll ships, these are handed out to other players on your turn. Then, if these players roll, or these players then roll the, the dice, and if they roll a pirate, pirate comes back already for some uh, pirate rating. Uh, sometimes the ships are just merely blown back. Uh, but if they roll the kraken, so they get the ship and they roll the kraken, they get to choose where on the table this goes. So they can either give it back to me and end my turn early. Or, if another player is ahead, they could give it to another player. <laughs> now, if a player gets the ship and rolls the lucky coin, they get to make a choice. The coin can be handed back to the original player as either a Kraken, which would end my turn. We could make an alliance, and you could give me a pirate flag, and then I can attack another player of, their, of our choosing with our alliance. Or, you could give me the gold coin, which, when you give up the gold coin off of a ship, earns you a plunder token. Plunder token counts as plus one in combat. So, on your turn, you roll, and you group all the dice together. You immediately hand out the ships to be rolled. Go ahead and roll those. <laughs> And so here we have. Do you mind if I shoot a little video of the game board? Uh, so here, she gets to choose where this goes. She gets to choose what form this dice takes. So she could give me these two and end my turn immediately. But she could also give me the coin and get the plunder token. So. That's the basic gameplay for Dice and Pirates. Uh, let me now explain combat. So if on my turn I roll a number of pirate flags, and this player over here has a, more gold than I do, and I've decided I'd like to take that gold from him. I declare combat, take my fleet of ships, and I'm going to engage in combat. Set aside the other dice to keep them out of the way, and just go ahead and a straight up attack. When you roll combat mode, a gold coin represents a gold that I'm going to try to steal from the opponent. A kraken means a ship that has sunk. Pirate flag is for sh uh, ships that can keep attacking. And the brown ship uh, represents a traitorous, mutinous dog of a pirate that has decided to join the other side and now Ray is now fighting for her side. So in this particular situation, we would just keep rolling in real time uh, the ships, and every time we get a pirate uh, brown ship, they just change the sides, goes back and forth, until all dice have been resolved as either Kraken or Gold. At the end of combat, you match up the number, the gold, and I would have won the combat, these two cancel each other out, so I, in the end, I would steal one gold. If I'd been fighting with a plunder token on my side, I could add my plunder token to my side, 
and I could steal two goats. Because that counts as an automatic quick to hit. The planning token can also be used in defense. And that's the basics of playing Dice of Bites.